good evening doctors our today's topic is brachial plexus and i am going to explain this brachial plexus and welcome for online viewers those who are watching me online okay now let's start brachial plexus what is it uh, my dear friends how to remember a trick i bring here like remember to drink cold beer so uh, always think about this trick remember remember r represent here roots r represent here root so root here include like uh, it starts from c5 c6 c7 c8 cervical spinal root cervical 8 and thoracic one okay my dear friends how to remember this one we are going to remember like this is c5 this is c6 this is c7 this is c8 and this one is T1 thoracic one spinal nerve so this roots okay so I represent here two two I am going to write in by red pen two represent here trunk this is a trunk how many trunks total three trunks like I need to take three by one by here by and I am going to match this by from this 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 and till here okay it's enough by then another one is this is also C8 and T1 by so I am going to match from here to here okay then another one is reverse Y this one is reverse Y this is the way like Y here three Y's okay so now we are going to discuss about trunk trunk what happens with trunk uh, this C5 and C6 is known as upper trunk upper trunk upper T and this is medial yeah, medial t medial trunk and this is lower trunk it's t in his spinal root okay then drink drink explain here us uh, like uh, uh, we can say divisions divisions d r v i s i o n okay drink divisions so now i'm going to make e e c okay I'm going to make an E here in this manner. How the fair divisions going to be happen like this? This is E, and this is E like this E. Okay, E here. See E representing the E like in that manner. So and one cross line, one cross line here, which represent X. Okay. So representing here, understand division. Divisions include anterior and posterior. This green one, this green line, this like this, 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 and this, 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 this is a posterior division. Is posterior D, P O S T posterior D. Okay. And then what else left is anterior. Anterior I am going to write by this way. This is anterior one. This one, this green together is anterior. Division and this one is anterior division. So, anterior division. And here the last one, this T, e, it's anterior division. So this green line represents T here, T here dots, uh, T here, T here. It's posterior division. Okay. Now these are with red. I written anterior division, ANTD. Here this is also ANTD. And here also A N T D is anterior division. Okay, so uh, now we are going to come towards cold. Cold refers here. Cold means cord. This is the cord. Cord division. Cord. So cord how much? This anterior C five C six and this C one. These two together combines to form lateral cord. L A T E R A L lateral cord. Okay, lateral cord. See opposite here. Lateral here the lower trunk. So lower and lateral in opposite direction. So this is a lateral cord. Okay, then another one. This center uh, is posterior P O S T. I written here cord. Posterior cord. This is posterior cord. So see C five C six C seven C till here and C eight T one till here. This all three together posterior division combined to form. Posterior cord, but anterior division only upper uh, this uh, C5, C6, and C7. These anterior division combine to form lateral cord. But uh, here in uh, lower side, it's medial cord, medial cord. 
so median chord is formed by only anterior this one anterior division and by c8 and t1 so friends try to remember i am just making it very easy to uh, learn it's really very simple no need to think so much about this brachial plexus it's very very easy now i am going to make a reverse e here like this way this from this i am going to join and from this and this is reverse e this is reverse e second one e so now beer beer represent here branch this is branch now branch how many branches total three branches here uh, okay i'm going to write how to remember these branches so i'm going to write u m m a r u double m a r u m m a r try to represent i write this okay now m from lateral chord so lateral chord uh, no i'm going to write how the two m it's represent uh, this u is ulnar this u is for ulnar nerve n and this is for median median nerve here and this one is for musculocutaneous culo cutaneous nerve okay and a for axillary axillary nerve and r for radial radial nerve okay so now i am going to make it very easy by which you are going to remember how many branches of a uh, uh, lateral cord nerve supply it's three it's three my dear friends now i am going to explain you lateral cord has three branches first is musculocutaneous nerve another one second one is uh, let um yeah lateral lateral lat lateral branch of median nerve median nerve so median nerve combines uh, occur in uh, this median cord also and in lateral cord also but in lateral cord is lateral branch of median nerve uh, but in case of uh, okay i am going to represent here and then uh, lateral pectoral nerve lat lateral pectoral nerve this is lateral pectoral nerve so three branch from this lateral cord musculocutaneous nerve lateral branch of median nerve and lateral pectoral nerve okay till here it's clear uh, the anterior division uh, both together from c5 c6 c7 supplies the lateral cord and these are the branches of these nerve if musculocutaneous nerve injury occurs what was going to be happen uh, there is a lateral pectoral nerve and uh, elbow not able to flex if musculocutaneous nerve injury like elbow this is flexion this is extension but it's can't able to be flex nobody will able to show his bicep because he can't able to flex due to musculocutaneous injury to the nerve so what was going to be happen now another i'm going to jump uh, directly here on median cord because it's very simple ulnar nerve okay first one ulnar nerve median cord supply and second one i already told median nerve and its medial cord supply here lateral branch of median nerve lateral cord and here is median cord so median branch of median nerve okay median nerve and another one is here it's lateral cord so lateral pectoral nerve here it's medial cord so medial pectoral nerve and med median pectoral nerve supply and another one also fourth one anti brachial nerve also supply and uh cutaneous nerve also supplied here in such cases medial cutaneous nerve of arm medial cutaneous nerve of arm yeah so see till here it's five supply but uh, now left is posterior division posterior division i already explained supply axillary nerve radial nerve and two also superior sup and inferior supra scapular sub scapular scapular and thoraco dorsalis nerve okay my dear friends still here i hope it's clear for you thoraco dorsal upper and lower sub scapular nerve or superior inferior sub scapular nerve so total five nerve supply here thoraco dorsal nerve 
axillary nerve by posterior uh, cord and posterior division include all but if we are going to see this is the median trunk okay i hope till here it's clear for you yeah i want to explain some another thing also this c5 uh, explain uh, supplies the dorsal scapular nerve so if there is an injury it will damage them and uh, have you a long thoracic nerve long c5 c6 and c7 together supply long thoracic thoracic nerve and it causes uh, due to damage of this it causes winging of scapula winging of scapula okay winging of scapula it causes the winging of scapula and due to the damage of which muscle serratus anterior serratus anterior okay my dear friends i remember this question when i am sitting in an exam in 2014 december they asked which nerve damage causes the winking of scapula it causes the long thoracic nerve and if you someone asks the muscle it is serratus anterior muscle so now i am going to explain the palsies ulf palsy and clumkes uh, palsy so this is ulf's ulf's palsy so uh, and clumke uh, K L U M P K E from K policy or paralysis, you can say. Okay, so now I am going to explain something from this also. Uh, if you wanna know which muscles they are going to supply, so this uh, division uh, supply thoracic dorsalis muscles, subscapular inferior muscles also same and radial muscles and musculocutaneous muscles also and the lateral branch of median muscles also and pectoral muscles these are going to supply if you muscle name nerve names little bit similar here okay so no no it to be going to be confused okay uh, and till here it's clear for you i so always remember to drink cold beer this mnemonic very helpful okay now i'm going to explain what is ulf palsy ulf palsy include the c5 and c6 now C5 and Clumke palsy include the C8 and T1 now. Clumke's palsy. So my question goes to Dr. Emily. Please answer in Clumke palsy. There is a claw hand and how does it look? Please come here in front of camera and show uh, how the hand is going to be look like this. If there is a Clumke palsy, C8 and T1 injury occurs. How? No, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. I'm going to explain this. These two fingers. So, these two fingers going to be paralyzed in clumpy palsy due to C8 and T1 injury. This is known as claw hand. Claw hand. If there is complete claw hand, it is due to the help of complete. It is due this way this way complete claw hand it is due to why it is due to the combination of median nerve and ulnar nerve injury but here in clumke paralysis there is ulnar nerve injury so we see such injury during the time of birth of baby if his wrist came or uh, somebody wants to uh, turn uh, came that baby with the help of his wrist and his wrist going to be uh, that nerve ulnar going to be damaged and it causes the uh, this is complete uh, claw hand and uh, if we open the fingers like these two open and this one uh, this way it is known as partial claw hand and it is due to ulnar nerve palsy. Thank you Dr. Another. Thank you. Welcome. 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 You are really here. Good. Good. Okay. Now another question of palsy. I am going to ask is Dr. Santosh please explain us. Show us how the uh, position of uh, hand going to be look like this. Come here and show. Yeah, come here and explain in front of camera. Yeah, she is perfectly showing. This is pronation and this is hyper extension of her wrist and this is extension of her elbow. And this position, this hand, we are going to see the damage during the time of our palsy. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for showing us such a brilliant explanation in case of us palsy so i am going to explain what happened my dear friends this is known as supination friend this is known as pronation so pronation of a hand due to damage of what c5 and c6 and this one is flexion extension hyper flexion hyper extension yeah I, this is known as flexion this is hyper extension hyper extension uh, hyper flexion yeah this is flexion flexion hyper flexion of wrist joint and what happened this is known as flexion 
and this is extension. So extension of elbow. They are like to ask in Arab palsy, is there an elbow extension? Yeah, elbow is extended and shoulder is hyperflexed and wrist is hyperflexed and position is pronation. When we are going to see during the time of delivery also we can see when some shoulder distortion occur of a baby. Yeah, uh, this is Arab palsy. We can see the waiter's position. This waiters are standing like they always like to stand. So this is we can see waiter's position, pointer's position, writer's position or we can say policeman position. I hope till here it's clear for you and uh, please come together my online uh, friends, those who are attending my lecture and uh, thank you, thank you, come here, uh, say thank you for online viewers, say thank you. Speak. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Those who are watching us and uh, please support our channel. And uh, if you are still not subscribe, please subscribe our channel. And if you are going to continue support our channel, we are going to make more videos. And if you have any queries, any question, you can ask me. I am always ready with my all team members. Thank you. That's all. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night.